Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Kristen, and today I thought I would just show you guys what I got my husband for Valentine's Day. Uh, maybe this will help if you are struggling to figure out what to get your sweetheart for Valentine's Day. My husband loves beef jerky, but beef jerky is kind of pricey, uh, so we don't get it often. So for Valentine's Day, I picked him up a variety of different beef jerkies, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put it together. So here we have the Jack Link's Teriyaki. Then I picked him up the Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Beef Jerky. Um, those, one of those was uh, about $4, the other one was $5 for the pack. I got him a Jack Link's Beef Stick in the original. And I also got him a Slim Jim. And then there are two more beef sticks. These are just like snack size. Uh, this one is from Kelements, and this one is also from Kelements. I'm not really sure what the difference is between these because they're both beef. Yeah, beef snack stick, beef snack stick, same brand. I really don't know what the difference is on these. <laughs> just different packaging. I found all of the beef jerky at my local Walmart in the checkout lane. I didn't find any back on the shelf, which I thought they used to have beef jerky back on the shelf, but mine did not. So if you're having a hard time finding beef jerky in the store in the aisles, uh, maybe check a checkout lane because that's where I found all of mine. So my husband also really likes um, like flavored mixed popcorns. So this is a sweetheart snack mix. It's got flavored popcorn. It's got little candies and little pearls and chocolate pretzels in there. I don't know how well you can see all of these. This is about five bucks. Um, they had it at Walmart. They had like a little display like right at the front. And it says it's a vanilla, calm, vanilla caramel corn with a drizzle, yogurt dipped pretzel bites, milk chocolate pretzels, cichlets, candy corn, and chocolate pieces. So hopefully he will enjoy that. Then I also seen this, and I just thought it was kind of cutesy and funny. It's a marshmallow Captain America. I know they're more for kids, but my husband loves marshmallows, and so I, he loves superheroes, so I just thought he'd kind of like that. Uh, then I also picked him up a pack of cow tails. These are one of his favorites. I was looking for the Hershey's Gold Chocolate Bar, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I'm wondering if they quit selling them. I was never a fan, but my husband really liked them. I know they were kind of a newer chocolate bar, so I'm surprised they had taken off the market already, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So I got these instead, but they're one of his favorites. And then I got him a chocolate rose because, you know, roses and chocolate are just Valentine's Day tradition, right? And then I got this cute little glittery gift bag. Uh, normally I've got gift bags on hand, but I don't have any Valentine themed gift bags, so I had to buy one. Very rare that I have to buy a gift bag. Um, so that's everything I got him for Valentine's Day. I didn't have a ton of money to spend this year on him. Um, I think all of this came to, I don't know, probably around 30 or so dollars. I bought some cheese while I was there, so whatever the price of cheese is plus this. <laughs> Um, so fairly inexpensive Valentine's Day gift, um, nothing too over the top. So I'm going to bring it down to the floor and show you guys how I'm going to package this. So nothing too complicated. I don't know that I'm going to get out any uh, tissue paper for this. But, oh, I guess you guys can't even see down inside there, so does this even matter? I don't know. I'm literally just putting it in the bag. Okay, well the chocolate rose is the only thing that sticks, well I guess the beef, the beef links stick out too. They're the only things that stick out. That was a flop. Okay, so that is what it looks like now that it's all bagged up. Hopefully you will enjoy all of this. And then what I plan on doing is the night before Valentine's Day, I'm gonna sneak out to his car and I'm gonna put it in his driver's side passenger seat, driver's side foot. Passenger seat of his car so he can find it in the morning when he gets ready to go for work So it'll be a little little treat little surprise for him a little goodie bag um, Just to let him know that I love him and Yeah, that's everything for this video So hopefully this maybe gives you a little bit of inspiration or ideas for Getting something sweet for your Valentine uh, You don't always have to do chocolates or anything super expensive I seen where they had like beef jerky bouquets and like beef jerky chocolate box hearts that you could order online for like $50 and 
yeah, like I said, I went to Walmart and got all of this stuff considerably cheaper. Um, and you could, you know, there's lots of different things you could do. But that's just an idea. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day. And I hope to catch you in my next video.